So we'll come in here and take a look at the bookshelves in the living room. These were built-ins. Frank was the first to do built-ins. He was also the first to do recessed lighting and indirect lighting, which you'll see here. All these sconces are original to the house, but back then in 1908, the highest wattage you could get for a light bulb was eight watts. Mr. Boynton, the owner of the house, he uh, was a salesman for lanterns, and we found that lantern over there, downstairs in the basement, I cleaned it up and gave it a place of honor. There have been nine families that have lived in this house, and it was still there. <laughs> so this is an original That's point. Original. That was the lantern that his company made. That's how he made his money. Wow. And back in 1908, the land and the house cost $50,000, which was a fortune back then. Of course, the land was much bigger. It went almost all the way to Park Avenue. There was a tennis court. There was a, 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 a waiting pool. There were beautiful gardens. Mm. Uh, 1920s, that land was sold off. And um, we, what we did when we redid, well, I mean, redo the house, but we were able to build a new garage in the back and we put in a, a little pond as well to give the feeling of what Frank really had done originally with the house. Mm.